Are you wishing it was summer already? Not necessarily in the heat sense, but in the vacation sense? Probably so. Uh, but if you still need to book that family vacation right now, don't do it until you listen to this next story. There's a brand new type of airfare that could actually have you shelling out more than you expect, uh, and the name of it would suggest otherwise, perhaps. Joining us now to explain this is our travel expert, Mark Albert, editor-in-chief of VoyageReport.com. He's actually in our Dallas newsroom right now, where he's going to be hosting a live Facebook chat in just a few minutes uh, so that should be very cool get a lot of questions answered this afternoon mark thanks for being with us let's talk about this new airfare right so a couple of fares that you need to be aware of first of all this basic economy fare this is spreading throughout the country delta was the first to roll it out being really really aggressive then came united starting in minneapolis and now they've promised to expand it to 100 markets american is doing it too 11 routes right now, two from Dallas to Philly and to Tampa. These can come with few benefits. They may be 20, 30, 40 dollars cheaper than other economy fares in the cabin, but you may get no seat assignment in advance, no mm -hmm. overhead bin space. You're going to board last. You have no changes, no elite status. You may not even earn full mileage. So be really careful of basic economy. The price may look great, but you may regret it. Yeah, you know, uh, an interesting thing about that, I don't think that seat assignment ever meant as much to me until we had this whole deal with United, and now you go, I would at least like to have something that says that I belong in this seat, uh, just in case. Absolutely, and as we talked about last week, having a seat, any mm. seat on the plane, is better than not, because some airlines use, whether you have a seat assignment or not, when they are considering bumping people, so always mm. grab a seat. Okay, so, uh, and then we have all, the, uh, all this, this sort of jumble of different kinds of fares. We've got bulk fares. And, and, and those can be kind of sneaky as well. Talk a little bit about that. Some people have never heard of these, Jason. Bulk fares, what are they? Normally, you can find them on Consolidator websites, some online travel agencies, in fact, and usually they will be cheaper, especially in coach on international fares. But buyer beware, they may come with few benefits. You may not even earn the maximum amount of miles or elite mileage if you need that for your status every year. So if you're going to buy them, one, call the airline afterward to find out if it is a bulk fare mm -hmm. and purchase on a credit card you trust mm -hmm. so you have some protection. That's a good idea there too. Uh, and then we just showed that screen talking about basic economy fares and this is where some of these legacy carriers are trying to compete with the sort of more low cost ones. Absolutely. Delta, United, American, the big legacy carriers now down to three in the U.S. They're trying to compete with the likes of Spirit, Frontier, even Southwest. So they are stripping out a lot of the benefits we've come to expect. The overhead bin space, for example, a seat assignment. They're stripping that out, th those out. And Airlines for America, which represents the airlines, say they're doing this to give consumers choice. Hmm. And for the passengers who don't want all those extras, this is a fare for them. All right, I think I'm, uh, I've decided to drive now. Uh, <laughs> so, so, Mark, thanks for uh, doing this with us here. And I know that you know, every time we do one of these things where we talk to you, uh, people at home go, but wait, I have like these eight other questions. So we're going to hang on to you here for a little bit. In fact, I think you're going to move over right now to our digital desk there in the newsroom to talk more about this and answer any travel questions that folks want to send in. So if you've got a travel question for this summer, go ask it right now. Go to our WFAA Facebook page. Mark's going to be there until 5 o'clock or later. We might be able to actually make him stay there uh, if those questions just keep on coming in. But he really is uh, quite a resource. A lot of knowledge going on there for travel. Uh, Alicia looks like she's ready to go ask a question, so I'll go ahead and do this.